In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word was made flesh. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. He was in the world, the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. But to as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. All right, let me start from the top. So God manifests in the flesh as the Son of God. The man Christ Jesus came unto his own people, the Jews, who rejected him. Without cause, he was crucified, and he was buried for three days and three nights. But God rose him from the dead, and he was seen alive by many witnesses. And he, by this, uh, we are justified from all things. Um, because uh, he paid for the sins on our, all our sins on the cross, every single one of them. Whether it's a willful sin or a, you know unknowing sin, it doesn't matter. Past, present, future, every sin was paid for on that cross. And he has been given the keys of death and hell uh, when he rose from the grave. And so we believe in the true God who uh, sent his son in his own name. He's, Jesus said, I am come in my father's name and ye receive me not. Another shall come in his own name. Him you will receive. So we believe that uh, they baptize in the name of the Father. And they, you know, they baptize in the name of Jesus. The name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. So believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, the true Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, thou shalt be saved in thy house. Anyways, I'm going to read a few chapters here. We just had a long study, so I don't know how many I'm going to do, but I might just do a a few here and catch up tomorrow. And Isaiah 23. The burden of Tyre, howl, ye ships of Tarshish, for it is laid waste so that there is no house, no entering in. From the land of Chittim it is revealed to them. Be still, ye inhabitants of the isle, thou whom the merchants of Zidon that pass over the sea have replenished. And by great waters the seed of Zahar, Sihor, the harvest of the river, is her revenue, and she is a mart of nations. Be thou ashamed, O Zidon, for the sea hath spoken, even the strength of the sea, saying, I travail not, nor bring forth children. Neither do I nourish up young men, nor bring up virgins. As at that, as at the report concerning Egypt, so they be sorely pained at the report of Tyre. Pass ye over Tarshish, howl, ye inhabitants of the isle. Is this your joyous city, whose antiquity is of ancient days, or her, her own feet shall carry her afar off to sojourn? Who hath taken this counsel against Tyre, the crowning city, whose merchants are princes, whose traffickers are the honorable of the earth? The Lord of hosts hath purposed it to stain the pride of all glory and to bring in contempt and to contempt all the honorable of the earth. Pass through thy land as a river. O daughter of Tarshish, there is no more strength. He stretched out his hand over the sea. He shook the kingdoms. The Lord hath given a commandment against the merchant city to destroy the strongholds thereof. And he said, thou shalt no more rejoice. O thou oppressed virgin, daughter of Zidon. Arise, pass over Chittim, there also shalt thou have no rest. Behold the land of Chal the Chaldeans. This people was not till the Assyrian founded, founded it for them that dwell in the wilderness. They set up the towers thereof, they raised up the places thereof, and he brought it to ruin. Howl ye ships of Tarshish, 
for your strength is laid waste. And it shall come to pass in that day that Tyre shall be forgotten seventy years according to the days of one king. After the end of seventy years shall Tyre sing as an harlot. Take an harp, go about the city, thou har harlot that has been forgotten, make sweet melody, sing many songs, that thou mayest be remembered. And it shall come to pass after the end of seventy years that the Lord will visit Tyre, and she shall turn to her hire and sh shall commit fornication with all the kingdoms of the world upon the face of the earth. And her merchandise and her hire shall be holiness to the Lord. It shall not be treasured nor laid up. For her merchandise shall be for them that dwell uh, before the Lord to eat sufficiently and for durable clothing. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste and turneth it upside down and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master, as with the maid, so with his her mistress, as with the buyer. So with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the maker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him, the land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled, for the Lord hath spoken this world, word. The earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languish and fadeth away, the haughty people of the earth do languish, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore hath the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. The new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth. All the merry-hearted do not sigh. The mirth of tabret ceased. The noise of them that rejoiced ended, endeth. The joy of the harp ceaseth. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up, that no man may come in. There is a crying for wine in the secrets, in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. In the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction. Then, when thus it shall be in the midst of the land among the people, there shall be as the shaking of an olive tree, and as the gleaning grapes when the vintage is done. They shall lift up their voice. They shall sing for the majesty of the Lord. They shall cry aloud from the sea. Wherefore, glory ye the Lord in the fires, even the name of the Lord God of Israel in the isles of the sea. From the uttermost part of the earth have we heard songs, even glory to the righteous. But I said, my leanness, my leanness, woe unto me. The treacherous dealers have dealt treacherously. Yea, the treacherous dealers have dealt treacherously. Fear and the pit and the snare are upon me. O inhabitant of the earth, and it shall come to pass that he that who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall call, fall into the pit, and he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare, and the windows from on high are open, and the foundations of the earth do shake. The earth is utterly broken. The earth is clean, dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. Excuse me. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be moved like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high, and the kings of the earth upon the earth, and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit, and shall be shut up in the prison, and after many days shall they be visited. When the moon shall be confounded and the sun ashamed, and the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem and before his ancient ancients gloriously. O Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt thee. I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. For thou hast made of a heap, city of heap a, and heap, of a defense city a ruin, a place of strangers to be no city. It shall never be built. Therefore shall the strong people glorify thee. The city of the terrible nations shall fear thee. For thou hast been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a re refuge from the storm, a shadow for the, from the heat, when the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the wall. Thou shalt bring down the noise of strangers as the heat in a day place. 
even the heat with the shadow of a, of a cloud. The branch of the terrible ones shall be brought low. And in the mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things, a feast of wines on the lees, of fat things full of a marrow of wines on the lees will be refined. And he will destroy in his mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death and victory, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from off all faces, and the rebuke of his people shall be he take away from off all the earth, for the Lord hath spoken it. And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. He will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. For in this mountain shall the hand of the Lord rest, and Moab shall be trodden down under him, even as a straw is trodden down from the dunghill. And he shall spread forth his hands in the midst of them, as he that swimmeth spread forth his hands to swim. And he shall bring down their pride together with the spoils of their hands. And the fortress of the high fort of thy walls shall he bring down, laid low, and bring down to the ground, even to the dust. In that day shall his, this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Open ye the, the gates, and the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou wilt keep him in comfort and perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high, the lofty city, he layeth it low. He layeth it low, even to the ground. He bringeth it even to the dust. The foot shall tread it down, even the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. The way of the just is uprightness. Thou most upright dost weigh the path of the just. Yea, in the way of, the ju of thy judgments, O Lord, have ye waited for thee. The desire of our soul is, thine, is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. With my soul have I desired thee in the night, yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Let favor be shewed to the wicked. Yet will he not learn righteousness in the land of un uprightness? Will he deal unjustly, and will not behold the majesty of the Lord? Lord, when thy hand is lifted up, they will not see, but they shall see and be ashamed for their envy at the people. Yea, the fire of thine enemies shall devour them. Lord, thou wilt ordain peace for us, for thou also hast wrought all our works in us. Our, O Lord, our God, other lords beside thee have had dominion over us, but by thee only will we make mention of thy name. They are dead, they shall not live, they are deceased, they shall not rise. Therefore hast thou visited and destroyed them and made all their memory to perish. Thou hast increased the nation, O Lord. Thou hast increased the nation, thou art glorified. Thou hadst removed it far unto all the ends of the earth. Lord, in trouble have they, have they visited thee. They poured out a prayer when thy chastening was upon them. Like as a woman with child that draweth near the time of her delivery is in pain and crieth out in her pangs, so have we been in thy sight, O Lord. We have been with child, we have been in pain. We have, as it were, wrought forth wind. We have not wrought any deliverance in the earth, neither have the inhabitants of the world fallen. The dead, thy dead men shall live. Thy dead men shall live together with my dead body shall they Arise, awake, and sing, ye that dwell in dust, for thy dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. 
Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment until the, indig until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of this his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. In that day, the Lord, with his sore and great and strong sword, shall punish Leviathan, the piercing servant, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. In that day, sing ye unto her a vineyard of red wine. I, the Lord, do keep it. I will water it every moment, lest any hurt it. I will keep it night and day. Fury is not in me. Who would set the briars and thorns against me in battle? I would go through them, I would burn them together, or let him take hold of my strength, that he may make peace with me, and he shall make peace with me. He shall cause them that come of Jacob to take root. Israel shall blossom and bud, and fill the face of the world with fruit. Hath he smitten as he smote those that smote him? Or is he slain according to the slaughter of them that are slain by him? In measure, when it shooteth forth, thou wilt debate with it. He stayeth his rough wind in the day of the east wind. By this, therefore, shall the iniquity of Jacob be purged, and this is all the fruit to take away his sin. When he maketh all the stones of the altar as chalk stones that are beaten in sunder, the groves and images shall not stand up. Yet the defense city shall be desolate and the habitation forsaken, and left like a wilderness there shall the calf feed. And there shall he lie down and consume the branches thereof. When the bows thereof are withered, they shall be broken off. The women come and set them on fire, for it is a people of no understanding. Therefore he that made them will not have mercy on them, and he that formed them will shew them no favor. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall beat off from the channel of the river unto the stream of Egypt, and ye shall be gathered one by one, O ye children of Israel. And it shall come to pass in that day that the great trumpet shall be blown, and they shall come which were ready to perish in the land of Assyria, and the outcasts in the land of Egypt, and shall worship the Lord in the holy mount Jerusalem. Amen. Good night.